All right, welcome, welcome, welcome to Trans Siberian Railway Simulator. Now, this is a new one on the channel. I've streamed it a couple of times before, but I've never actually made any video content on it. I know the game's not necessarily new, but it's a game that I've had a lot of fun with over the past month or so. And seeing as I can't really fit it into the streaming schedule anymore, I thought to myself, you know what? Why not slap it onto the YouTube roster? as a regular video see if you guys like it and if you do maybe we can make some more i probably will make some more anyway it's a game i've been waiting to get back into and i'm happy to to finally do that so trans-siberian railway sim before we even get into what exactly is trans-siberian railway sim well trans-siberian railway sim is a railway sim in a sense soviet era mafia style now that sounds like a complete mess a complete shambles but as i load into the game you kind of get an idea what we're talking about here it also involves bears that will chase you down and try and eat you you also have people that will try and chase you down to kill you now yes we have spawned in a train in a railway sim with a gun in our hands and with some beer on deck as well that yes you can indeed drink so it initially gave me that sort of my summer car vibe where it had this insane realism and insane detail to the cars but then there was also the fact that it was just chaotic <laughs> so i actually don't remember what the last thing we did with uh over the top left so you can see we have our bars hunger thirst alcohol etc underneath that we are delivering wagons to bolotnoy if i've pronounced that correctly i probably haven't right uh i think oh no the brakes are here let's release the brakes i forgot what my brake um keys were i didn't have my brakes set to something all right so eight and two on the numpad are my main brakes service is where they should be and then loco brake if eight and two are loco brake oh i see how i've done it right i thought i might have em emulated what i have on simrel turns out no it's just a mess right so we have finally got her moving and yeah so as you can see um very old school train i don't remember what it's based off it is based off an actual real life train can't remember for the life of me uh which one though but this is it we're currently hauling some uh what are we hauling i know we're hauling wagons are there anything in them or are they just empty they do seem to just be empty okay so yeah I i'm gonna be a little bit rusty because it's been a while since i've played this as you saw in the uh, the save file 10th of september literally a month today well almost i'm recording this on the 9th and so i've got my brakes and throttle all set to numpad stuff my hot bar at the top the fist and the gun and the carrot and the milk and the beer are all my like num numbers above the letters and i think everything else is just mouse controlled honestly now this is a train that does get damaged actually i'll go back to that camera mode we we're just saying so it's called inspection mode and if i hit t you can actually see all the various parts that can get damaged and you know suffer from wear and tear and if you go into it a little bit more you can see some more details so that anything from the sort of the wheels and the axles to the heater which is always on so that needs replacing constantly the main handle is actually kind of low that's not good because how do we then move warning steering may become unavailable you don't say that's going to be problematic we've got a deer oh speaking of deer, i'm going to show you guys what else we can also do uh you can change the lights as well the light bulbs oh these are going to need replacing soon i think i've got extra though last time i bought them so we should be all right for them right so now how do i access my inventory is it i it is i so we also have uh, a kalashnikov with a scope and a normal kalashnikov without a scope yeah and just a ton of ration style food are uh, light bulbs a flashlight and a wrench so you kind of start to see what this game is about it's not exactly a train sim world or a sim rail type of train sim no it's uh it's a sim in its own category to be honest completely in its own category gonna try and keep an eye on our speed here we uh yeah have a hand over telephone that we that does work when we deliver um wagons and 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 the like so the 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 kind of premise here is we are a train driver and we do do actual normal jobs 
like delivering wagons, for example, or delivering different types of freight. But we're also part of the mafia on the side. Not necessarily really in the mafia, but more so kind of working for the mafia. So uh, at the very beginning, we blew up a bridge. We've raided a strip club and killed like 10 people there. We've delivered explosives. It's, it's been a little bit hectic. So yes, we haven't started like a fresh game. This isn't exactly like a clean playthrough. And if you do want to check out what has happened so far for us to kind of be where we are, um, do feel free to check out my live streams from the beginning of September, around then, when I first started to play the game. Now, what position are you in release and charge? No. Right, I keep hitting the wrong bloody thing. Right, service one. I think it was four presses from service. And we are going a little fast for this uh, dangerous place. We should be at 40 kilometers an hour. We're currently at 55. We are slowing down though. And with how much the train is rocking, I'm hoping we don't derail. And talking of derailing, it is possible to just slide off and crash. It's uh, an interesting animation, <laughs> but you kind of get the idea. Let's make sure that's in the correct place. Yes, service. I believe that's the correct place anyway. Right, so we got Andre just under a kilometer away. So it isn't, I don't, I'm not going to speed up. The brakes can be a little bit funny. So I'm just going to coast until we get to Andre. We're not, we're not dropping speed by too much. Now, from what I can remember, to get these uh, deer antlers to Andre, we had to go deer hunting, literally deer hunting. And that was uh, not too bad, actually. It was a little bit time consuming, but it wasn't too bad. As you can see, we've got other trains coming along as traffic. These, this deer antler thing, I don't know if it's illegal. Because now I'm starting to think, is there another aspect of the game where you do legal side jobs, you know? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. I, I, I don't know if it's illegal to hunt deer in well, if it was illegal to hunt there in, back in Soviet Russia. We also do go through um, neutral sections. And like, in a lot of aspects, the game's actually more realistic in some ways than like TSW. And honestly, Simrel for that matter, like with the whole, you know, parts degrading and stuff. Now, you wouldn't be expected to, you know, fix that <laughs> on your own. But oh, we need to, we're going to come to a stop here, actually. I keep doing that because it seems that Andre yep is down that path all right I didn't expect him to be down that path we've gone to emergency break-in honestly I might just stick on emergency break-in what I've noticed is that you don't really suffer too tough from like making those sort of mistakes where, where, where you end up having to emergency break there is a speed at which you can jump off the train while it's moving I don't know where that speed is because I've jumped out of the train while it's moving and just straight up died and I've also jumped out of the train while it's moving and been all right. So yeah, I'd rather not tempt fate now. So I do play it a bit carefully. Obviously we scared off the deer towards Andre's house funnily enough. I don't see the bear. So I'm all right for now, I'm quite happy. I think if I'm not mistaken, the sprint speed is like a little bit slower than the bear. I mean, from here to the train, I think if we can start off with like a good distance away from the bear, if there is one here, we should be all right. But otherwise, it will just sit like, and uh, it will just sit and prowl. Uh, also, these houses are kind of uh, all not copy and paste, but they all look very, very similar. And there's not really much that you can do other than interact with like the base thing and take apples and pears. Yes, I do have evidence for you. Wait, evidence? Oh. Well, hold on a second. Well, hold on a second. Is he mad at the poaching or is he mad that he poached his deer? Because if he's mad at poaching, I mean, that, that, that's not looking too good. This is quite violent. All right, and Sergei is who we're working for, I believe. And there you go. So now we need to basically act as bodyguards. I'm going to take a couple of apples from Andre's house. A beer and some bread as well. 
Right, I'm hoping there's no bear around. I'm going to have gun in hand. Right, you know what? Now nah, we'll be all right. We'll be all right. So, yeah. So, there's going to be a meeting, apparently. And we need to be protection. Because uh, apparently meetings like that attracts unwanted attention. I'm really curious to see where this path leads to. Luckily, it doesn't really seem like there's any time at all. You kind of just, you know, just go about business willy-nilly. And there's a couple of paths here. Surely these lead to something, right? The only issue is how long do they go on for before I find out that either one, they lead to nothing spectacular, two, probably a bear, and three, just a waste of time. Right, I'm just going to head back because, yeah, maybe they don't go anywhere. Right, so I've got no clue where Alexei is. I don't know if it was said over the radio. I don't think it was. I could repeat the message, which is a handy little feature. You press Y and the last message gets copied. Not copied, but repeated. Although I don't think... Yeah, I don't think we'll, uh, we'll need to do that. I, I, we'll just keep going and then when Alexei pops up on the map, <laughs> then we'll know, to, uh, we'll know that we're going to need to stop soon. That whistling that you can hear is not a kettle. It is the like DSD or... AWS, not AWS, but yeah, DSD, DVD equivalent. There we go. Brakes are released. And we should be good to move. The white light that comes on here every now and again when we're accelerating is uh, sort of like an overcurrent protection, which is why I end up going back a little bit when the light comes on. So then I'll just wait a little bit, apply some more power, wait a little bit, apply some more power, and so on and so forth. So at the next scrapyard, also, yeah, so when you come to stops, station stops, Sometimes there's a scrapyard nearby, you can have shops, there's like arms dealers. It's a whole thing. Basically quite accurate for the time, I think. So I just need to kind of take stock of what we need. So main handles on 37% currently. Main brake handles are 24%. Yeah, these are kind of important. So yeah, hopefully they will last until the next station. They should do anyway because I haven't changed them at all. And we've been going for hours now. I'm seeing a bit of orange over here. What's this then? Shock absorber, 48%? It will be all right. 48%? Ah, I will live, we'll live. A couple of things on green. What's, what's on green? Journal box leads. No idea what, it, what that is. Yeah, the light bulbs don't seem to last long. For miles and miles and miles, I was just driving without them. I didn't actually notice they'd, uh, they'd gone out. Heater, I think we can survive another run. But yeah, I'd really like to get a main handle and a main brake handle, if I'm being totally honest. It seems like we've got an 80 kilometer an hour limit. Not because there's any track limit, seemingly, but because beyond 80 kilometers an hour, the train will just derail. Ask me how I know. We've had a lot of fun times on our streams. <laughs> and on the topic of our streams... Oh, that was interesting. On the topic of our streams, twitch.tv slash LWD. And I also stream over here as well. So whether you're on Twitch, whether you're on YouTube, stream in somewhere in the region of five days a week six days a week sometimes just keep an eye on discord for the schedule all the links are in the description turn off the electrical power oh here we go neutral section is upon us i'm gonna wait till the uh, next section i'm gonna try and apply as much power as we can before we get to the neutral section so that as we coast i don't find myself stuck and what is it that we turn off where's the pantographs there we go there we go there we go end of the neutral section i'm gonna wait till the uh the other sign oh that wasn't too bad sometimes you get some really long ones on this game there we go raise the both pantographs get the power going reset the kvc and reset the bv this whole all the things here like what we've just reset are all explained sort of at the very beginning of the game so like it actually teaches you as much as it's like arguably not a serious game in terms of a train sim you actually learn a ton and I genuinely learn more from there than I would on a uh, on a train sim world or, or even a sim rail. So as we can see on the top right, the nearest scrapyard is 14 kilometers away. Quite a while. I think it's going to be just before Bolotnoi where we are dropping off these wagons. The process of dropping off the wagons is you approach a station, nine times out of ten, you got to mess around with a couple switches. Which is, again, like quite a realistic aspect of a train game. It's, it's, it's a very strange experience, I'm going to be totally honest. A very strange experience because you've obviously got the kind of Soviet era mafia stuff going on. Which you wouldn't really, you wouldn't really picture that being anywhere near a train sim. But then you actually have a really solid 
train aspects of the game as well. So, yeah. Ooh, Alexei's coming up. Turn the throw all the way off. We're going to have to break hard as well. Although in saying that, I think we're on eventually breaking already. All right, we'll leave it on service breaking for now. I don't think we'll need to get into the emergency breaking just yet. I don't know whether this is another like off the path house or whether we'll wait for the tracks to bend around. But it seems like... All right, it's over there. I can see it. Right, I think we might get into the emergency breaking just to speed things up. There we go. Also, I just noticed... Should we have our marker lights on? Probably. Our marker lights not on. Buffer light. I assume buffer lights are tail lights. Not tail lights, but you know, like the red lights. Marker lights, basically. But sometimes marker lights can be white, you know? I don't know. It's all confusing. Anywho, let's uh, not die as we get off the train. I think we're going slowly enough to hop off. Yeah, perfect. So far, so good. No bears. I would hate to have one creep up on me right now. They do make a ghastly sound. I mean, it's just a sound a bear makes, but it's horrifying. Especially when I didn't even know it was a thing. I had zero clue. Where's the entrance to this place? I don't see an opening on the left. Ah, oh, here we go. Of course, we've got the music playing. Just invite myself in. Hello, Mr. Alexei. Oh, hello. Thank you, my friend. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We indeed are. Oh, yes. What have you got for me? Bread and some cauliflower? I love it. And some apples. And a forest house nearby. Right, I think it's only appropriate we kind of get our Kalash and Convent already. I'll keep the pistol there. And I'll put the beer down for a second, although it could be helpful. I don't know. Got plenty of ammo. 300 bullets. We love that. Some mandarins. I want some mandarins as a food source. Now, there's not actually like a health bar. So, there's not really telling, one, what your health is during a fight. And two, whether eating and drinking replenishes that health. Right, back into the warmth. You also notice on the bottom right, we do have some temperature readings. I think that is the temperature of where wherever we are. And so, you'll see that when, when you get back into the train... The hypothermia bar on the top left goes uh, goes back to normal, which is none. No hypothermia. Hypothermia, bad. And as soon as we step out, it starts slowly, slowly climbing because we're literally way below zero. Way below zero. One thing I really do like is that you actually feel the weight of the wagons. It takes an age for the train to stop. It takes an age to get going. You can actually feel the physics at work. And to our left, we have... Our first bear of the session. There it is. If you ever wondered what a bear in the game looks like, there you go. Just your standard bear. I could, I, I could whip out the Clash in the Cove and kind of scope it, but I'll let it be. I'll let it be. It hasn't bothered me. I ain't gonna bother it. So we're now just approaching the meeting location. We're just under a kilometer away, and honestly, I think it's going to pop off. I honestly think it's going to pop off. We'll accelerate a little bit as we uh, head towards incline. I'm not sure whether gradients affect uh, speed. I mean, if the wagons add weight to the train, surely they would have thought about gradients, right? So this certainly looks like it's hidden away deep in the forest. The train just being parked on the main line definitely won't be a sign of anything uh, shady. And I've wedged myself between the door and the wall. Kalashnikov at the ready to show these guys, you know what, we're serious. I've come to protect you and I'm going to do my job. Right, I think I'm going to hop off here. Hopefully we're not going to die. Ooh, I don't want to risk it though for like literally five meters. There we go. Ah, oh, right. Yes. In a game where the train is created as realistically as it is, we are running around with a gun. How about that? To be honest, this looks like a grand house compared to what we've been seeing so far. Oh my god, they gave me a fright. They gave me a fright. Get out of here. Jesus Christ. Oh, there's a whole like, road system. Wait, wait, what? I was not... You guys didn't say that. Oh my god. I, I, they didn't say... They didn't say that much. Where did I even come in from? Where's the door? They did not say that they were expecting an attack. They said they there could be an attack. I don't even know where the shots came from. Who was... Oh my god. Oh my god. Well... Somewhere over there. Am I? Hello? Am I just gonna die here? I, I'm, I'm just gonna die. Mechanical injuries. Nice. Mechanical injuries. Lovely. Right. Let's, uh, let's, how about we try that again?
how about we try that again? I had no clue where on earth I was being shot from. Right, we gotta play this strategically then, boys and girls. We gotta play this a little strategically. Right, so have I what have we okay here we are. Easy yeah, you're gonna say that. Okay, so I guess let's let's close this door. So I felt like I was getting shot from somewhere around here. Oh, there we go. There we go. Is you all along, mate? Ooh, he's got a shot in him, doesn't he? Where is he? Oh, he's a little rat. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. You know what? <laughs> Let's get the scope out. Let's get the scope out because god damn, there's a lot of them. Right. Oh, this is a hell of a scope though, isn't it? Goodness me, it's a bit overkill. Are they all gonna try and like come through the front? I think they are. Right, not really what a doctor will do. You know what? I could just wait for them to come through the door. Right, that was decent. You know what? I could just I could just place myself strategically, he says if he gets shot. Oh, that was sweet. Right, I know there's a lot more where that came from, so. Now, do I eat? See, I have no idea whether that will help me or not at all. Oh, hello. You know what? This is a six. I, what I've got here is super OP. Oh, my God. Was that a flashbang? Was that a bloody flashbang? There are going to be so many weapons just sitting there. I probably should close this door. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. You know what? I know this is a bit rat I know this is a bit ratty. I'm not complaining about this little spot that I found. I am not complaining about this little spot. The game's a game, you know? The game is just literally the game can i have a couple of mandarins i don't know whether those white flashes are me getting hit or not oh we could have some milk you know what go in then mate you are thirsty ain't you a very suspicious bottle but who am i to judge now they're coming from the back or is it just like they come around to the front oh he's they are trying it with something ain't they I think, oh, oh, they do, oh, they do have a little spot. Okay, let's shoot this window out. Oh, it's shot out already. Have I been getting shot from behind this whole time? I just didn't notice. I honestly can't work out if I'm getting shot or not. There's white flashing. Oh my God. See, see that's, that's definitely getting shot. Is that it? Oh, decent. You know what? That wasn't too bad. Let's have a Mandarin. I don't know who Pavel is. Oh, him. Right. So what do I do to the report? Can I read it? Oh, of course. Oh, she's at the next station. That's not, that's not, that's not too bad. Right, let's grab all these weapons that we can then sell. Because there is going to be a lot here. Look at this bloodshed. Jesus Christ. Where's your weapons? Have the guns just despawned? There's no way. Oh, damn. Oh, I forgot vehicles can blow up. That would have been a... Oh, that would have been... That would have been super cinematic if we managed to blow up the van. I completely forgot about that whole mechanic. What about these lot? Where are your guns? Nowhere. Sweet. That is actually... Honestly, not that big of a loss. The economy is very questionable. <laughs> So I'm not mad about it. Not mad about it in the slightest. So then we get back into our train, delivering our wagons, as if everything's all right. I was tempted to take a shot there, but I will leave them alone. I'll let them live. Right, so we're only six and a half kilometers away from uh, Bolotnoi. Let's get going. If I do have one complaint, it would just be the scenery. It's very lackluster. stars, very basically done. I wouldn't be surprised if it was just the work of autogen. And I understand we are pretty in the middle of nowhere. But I'm pretty sure there would be more to see than, you know, sort of the same snow textures and trees copied and pasted. There's not really much variation in track running as well. If you're not at a station, you'll barely see any sidings. There's never at any given time a lot going on. Looks like we've got another neutral section coming up. Get the power off. Drop the pantos. Looks like some sort of town. Oh, we've got another track joining us. A very, very rare sight. Considering I literally just spoke about the uh, the lack of such. Right, we're approaching Bolotnoi. We've got a few engineers working, walking around. I'm not really sure what that purpose is. I know once you attack one, they sort of all come for you. 
unless you do so with a gun. So we've just been given instructions on where to leave these wagons. It's going to be very close. I think we're good, though. I think we're going to be all right. Perfect. There we go. Back in we go. If I don't leave these doors closed, the heat from inside will actually uh, it will actually escape, which I find pretty cool. There's also a scrapyard right here. I almost, uh, I won't lie, I almost missed it. Right. So we'll disconnect the wagons, head to the scrapyard, and get our bits and bobs. So we needed the main handle. We need the main brake handle. Where is it? This one. And I think it could be worth buying some another set of headlights because we are going to use the ones we've currently got very, very soon. As a matter of fact, seeing as we're literally right here, I might as well just do that now. I also learned recently that you can steal parts. Now, I'm not sure how that works. It's not like we need to. We've got a decent amount of cash, but I mean, if we can, you know, I don't think I do, lads. I won't lie to you. What's in it? This is new. I've seen vans at these uh, workshops before. Right. So we needed some handles. Where are the handles? Actually, usually they're on the table. Unfortunately, I think we've just bumped into a really crappy uh, workshop scrapyard, if I'm going to be totally honest with you. Usually there'll be like a table and it will have headlights and uh, handles, the usual stuff, you know. But unfortunately, there is just nothing here and I'm really tempted to just like crash out and kill everyone here because of it. But you know what? I'm going to leave peacefully. I'm going to leave peacefully. Where is our hangar? Right, our hangar is 600 meters away. We will have those stuff there. I was hoping to get some stuff on a good deal, but apparently that's just not possible. So onwards we go towards the drop-off point for these wagons and the hangar, which is over there. Fortunately, they're quite close to each other. Right, so we've basically got like a three-in-one situation here, or even four-in-one. We're going to drop off the wagons over here, check out the hangar for the parts we need, speak to Eleanor, go to the shop, see what we can pick up, go over to the mafia shop, see if there's anything we can possibly buy i don't think we'll, we need to buy anything to be honest a little too hard on the brakes perhaps just a little bit right that's beautifully done there we go i'm also not sure why i'm now only getting uh my achievements you know what proud of that very decently done right now let's head over to my personal trusty mechanic he will always have what i need so we've got a main handle there main brake handle got a speedometer there we don't need a speedometer we also needed some light bulbs, didn't we? Hello, mate. Of course I do, lad. Of course I do. Where are my headlights? Uh, where are my headlights, actually? Probably on another table somewhere. Hello, boss. How you doing? You all right? Got some glass. Right, here we go. Don't think we really need much else at the moment. Oh, yeah. The heat was running low, wasn't it? I could, get, I could grab one and hold on to it. We'll be all right, though. Famous last words? Hopefully not. That is a beautiful sunset isn't it right now we've got what we need let's drop over this report to elena head over to the shop and buy ourselves some more food that's literally what i've been doing like i'll stop by all the shops at all the stations and just buy out their entire stock oh, hello chief you're all right here's the lot nice station clearly a hub for the masses can of course jump crouch the usual stuff this guy is clearly uh having a lovely time this guy's already had a lovely time you know what? You do you, brother. You do you. This guy's also off his rocker. Hello, Elena. How you doing? Young Noga, I heard you. I was waiting for this Oh, right. I probably should give it to you, though, shouldn't I? Why she just pulls out a gun and kills me? You know, it just seems like one of those moments. Fortunately, not. You can also sometimes find, like, shady dealers in toilet. Let's see what we've got cracking here. Oh, my God. Sorry, boss. A dicey assignment. Jesus Christ. Holy moly, alright. Well, that's a uh that is a hell of a task. I'm all I'm all for it. But before we go there, let's head over to the shop. As you can see, there's plenty going on here. I don't think we've got any guns that I am happy to get rid of. No. Right, you can also just steal everything if you'd rather that. But I mean, for these prices. Absolute bargain, mate. Thank you, lad. Thank you very much. Oh, of course. Of course, I'd like to buy something. There you go, mate. Flashlight? Mm, I'll buy one flashlight. I don't think we really need flashlights. I do need parsley, though. Cool. What are we going to do with that parsley, mate? And, of course, our very suspicious-looking milk. Thank you very much, good sir. I don't. 
I do not. What does a mafia shop have for us? I don't know, boss. Oh, is that? Oh, a magnum. You know what? For 150, I'm actually tempted. You know what? Yeah. For 150, I'm tempted. Thank you very much. Go on then. Where is it? Is this it? No. Have I just been scammed? Where's my magnum? Oh, it's here. Ooh. I'm really tempted. I'm going to hold back. So we've got a Tokarev, Kalashnikov, and a bloody magnum. Like, we are just all out for war. You know what? Honestly, the timing is perfect because, well, we're probably going to uh, find ourselves in one very, very shortly. Although, unfortunately, that shortly will have to come next episode because we have a run out of time for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this first episode of uh, Trans-Siberian Railway Sim. Again, it's a... To be fair, like, it's actually a decent railway sim with a huge twist. A massive twist. But a very fun one at the same time. So if you do want to see some more, please do let me know by uh, liking the video, leaving me some feedback in the comments as well. Hopefully it won't be too long before the next episode's up. Once again, I am live most of the week, both on YouTube and Twitch. Make sure you check out our Discord for all the details under the announcements channel over there. Twitch.tv slash LWD Adnan. And oh, actually, yeah, before we do that, let's make the call. We do actually need to make a call and let them know that we've left the... Uh, there we go. There we go. So we've let them know about the uh, load that we just dropped off. And we've got these tankers next for the next journey. But like I said, we'll leave that one for next time. Thank you very much for spending your time here once again. Have a lovely rest of your day. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Health is wealth. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care. Peace out.